Honestly, I don't have the answer. Um, we've been asked this a lot, how do you stop Sam Kerr? She's one of the best players in the world, you know. You don't have that definitive answer where we're going to stop us. She's going to get chances occasionally. It's just a matter of how often can we minimise it or how much can we minimise it. Um, you know, she, she's good enough that she's going to create them on her own. Um, so, yeah, I don't have the answer to that, unfortunately. <laughs> um, Heather O'Reilly stepped into that right back hole when yeah. Merritt Bethany went down with uh, her ACL injury. How, what have you seen from her that she's been evolving? I mean, obviously she's been a pro for a long time. Yeah. So what have you just seen from her that's impressed you? Yeah, I, we get asked that question quite a lot. Um, and I think people forget that she's played for a very long time and she's very experienced. Um, it's obviously not her natural position. She, you know, she's more comfortable being up front. but. Um, you know, she's she's slipped in seamlessly. It, it's it's obviously been, in terms of the relationships, it's been a bit of a tough one. Um, so late in the season, you know, we spend 20 odd games building relationships with players, and, and, and they are seamless when you go into these kind of championships and these big games. But you know, she like I said, she's experienced and she just slipped straight in. Um, we've had to work on a couple of couple of things defensively. Um, like I said, just because it's not her natural position, but I'm not worried about it at all. Yeah. And you guys have been to the championship now three times in a row, four for counting, plus the New York Plus. We'll New count for you. Yeah. <laughs> um, what's it like to just be here and like be involved with all the consistency and, and what's it mean to be back? Yeah, it's cool. I think obviously um, having done it a few times, we've been fortunate enough to do it a few times, it's not as stressful. I think the first time you do it, you don't realize how much is going on. It's a very, very busy week. Um, you have a lot of people asking for interviews and you have a lot of people asking for this and that. And it, it can be a little bit overwhelming if you're not used to it. So knowing what is going to happen this, this week and today and tomorrow, obviously, um, it, it's a little bit, you know, we can lay back a little bit. We knew it was coming. We could plan for it and, and make sure that the stress was taken off the players as much as possible. But in saying that, we're at home as well. So it's really nice for the fans. It's nice to be home and to keep the same routine. Um, it's still such a big game, but, you know, to be home, it makes us a little bit more comfortable. Do you think that gives you guys a little bit of an upper hand just being used to this and the craziness of the week than compared to Chicago that hasn't really done something like this before? Yeah, I mean, I, in terms of the experience, we're obviously always going to have the advantage. I saw Roy yesterday, we were joking about it. Um, you know, it, just small things like not knowing about open trainings and, and stuff like that can, can mess your week up a little bit. And he obviously didn't know about it. So, you know, just, just small things like that. But, um, yeah, no, being at home, we've obviously had a really good away record for the past two years. But being at home is always special. You have the crowd, you have the community around you. And it is a little bit of a 12th man, 12th man effect. Um, you know, we're really going to need that playing against Chicago. They're a really good team. I have a lot of respect for them, so I think it's going to be a really good game. This is a team you've played three times, but the last time was three months ago, and the other times, people were on assignments, injuries, what have you. Do any of those matter, or is this just two different teams, I guess, than the previous meetings this year? Yeah, I mean, we're not different teams, obviously. We, we have to... I mean, we have to be careful in terms of considering the history of the league because anything can happen in these last two games. You've seen it with Chicago. They had our number last year. We, we just couldn't beat them last year, but you come into a semi-final and, and players are up for it and you get some of your best performances from players in, in these games. Um, so, yeah, it, uh, you know, it's going to be a tough game. Um, I don't think the team's going to be too different in terms of their tactics and strategies, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if we see something a little bit different from either team tomorrow.